Hey friends, so today we're going to be doing a regular gel manicure with the color red. My favorite color to do gel manicures of all time. It's red or nude. Red is just so ladylike. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back, friend. So in the first clip, what you saw was me using a manicure file to go ahead and shape my nails. Um, right now, I'm using a buffer to take the shine off my nails. I want to remind everyone who's watching that if you've seen a video of mine before, you see that I mentioned when you're working with nail files or buffers to try to be as gentle as possible. The movement actually looks rough, but it's not. Anything dealing with nails is usually very soft. It's just the speed that makes it look rough. All right, so if you notice, um, my thumbnail is broken. And I am going to say this is a very, very temporary hack that I don't even recommend. I think I do it mostly because I'm a professional. Typically, I would do this and add an enhancement over it, like a polymer, um, like gel or acrylic. But this time, it, this is a very temporary thing for me. And all I wanted to do was have my nails look aesthetically the same. So I took a tip and I added it there and I cut it. I'm also going to use a 180 grit file to blend it out and actually file it so that it looks as natural as possible. I'm going to repeat again that this is a very temporary hack and I was actually going out. What I don't like sometimes is when I do a very cute manicure and my thumbnails don't cooperate. That happens a lot. Alright, so the holy grail that is slept on, go ahead and spray your nails with 99% alcohol and then it's time to apply your base coat. For me, I like to apply two layers of base coat. First layer, I cure for 30 seconds in an LED lamp and then I go ahead and apply my second layer of base coat. All right, so the color we're going to be using today is Chili Pepper by DND. Remember to polish your first layer as thin as possible, trying your best to get it as close to the cuticle as possible. Now, if you do mess up and you get it on your cuticles, it's not the end of the world. Calm down, calm down, friend. All you need is a little bit of alcohol or acetone. You want to make sure that your brush is more dry than wet and you clean that area off. You can also use Q-tips. I'm not a Q-tip fan when it comes down to polish only because I don't like the little hairs getting stuck. That would frustrate me. I, I wouldn't be able to calm down from that. I think my trick is to try to go around. It's kind of like coloring in the lines. So as you can see, like the motion of my brush when I was trying to get the side of the nail, just pay attention to which way you see me stroking the brush. And look at my nail hack. If you try this, let me know how it works. Remember, it is temporary. And you're probably wondering why I keep repeating that it is temporary it's because i'm not a doctor and if it's not done properly water can get under your nails and you can get a fungus so be very careful all right so this is going to go a little faster because i am applying the second layer of polish if you do what i said the first time with the first layer of polish and you get as close to the cuticle as possible with the second layer you don't have to work so hard
So once all your polishing is complete, make sure you clean up before you go back into the LED lamp because once it's cured, you cannot get it off. And also, if it's not as clean and you have gel coming off the sides, most likely your polish is going to lift. If you've been here before, you know I love a good shiny manicure. I have to say that DND has one of the best gel top coats on the market. It is not the most expensive, but for sure it's one of the best and it's one of the most universal. And what I like most about it is that you don't have to use alcohol to wipe. It's a non-cleansing formula. So once you pop it in the LED lamp for about 60 seconds, I do 60 seconds after my polish is done, you're done. Go ahead and add your cuticle oil. You can't skip this step. This step is illegal to skip. <laughs> if you're dealing with me, this step is illegal to skip. Moisturize the skin around your nails. Moisturize your cuticles. This helps your nails to grow. It helps to keep your nails strong. And who wants to be walking around with ashy cuticles anyways? Like you're a lady, act like it. And my Chanel hand cream is still going strong. I love it and a little does go a long way. So I think I'll have this for a while. Look at my manicure, y'all. I love it. I love it. Comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.